Hi guys, this is Tim Norton. Today we're going to be showing you how I like to do my designs when I'm designing CCTV systems. In this case we're talking about an outdoor environment, so we'll use near maps to zoom in and get the detail of what we want. I prefer near maps over Google Maps because it's updated pretty much every month, so we get much more accurate plans. So just zooming in on an area that we're working with. Okay, so what I've got here is a site where we'll be pretending that we've got a camera on this pillar and it's looking at this roundabout. And we're going to be showing the differences between high definition and standard definition and megapixel cameras. So in order to take this to the next step we're going to need a, a core measurement. So we can take a measurement from my two points and we can see that it's 53.21 meters. So we'll close that down and using Windows snipping tool I'll basically grab a capture of that. Capture that and then we save it. And we'll follow through on the next step and you'll see where that measurement comes into play. So on the next step we'll be using our CCTV CAD program and we'll just jump straight to site plan. So in the site plan I'm going to import that image that we've just captured. Scroll down, there it is. And it's asking us to define two points in that image that we know as a real world dif distance. So if we zoom in on this image, a bit too far. So I can basically measure where I know my 53.2 meters is between those two points and say it's 53.2 okay and it tells me this is what scale we'll be working on so we'll zoom back out and here we have our image ready to work So at this point we're ready to add a camera to the scene. So we'll go down to the starting point, the pillar, zoom in on it, right click, just off of the picture, add camera. And we can move that camera to wherever we want it. So I'll plonk it on the pillar, I'll turn it around. That's looking in the general direction of what we want. And without setting any camera parameters, you can see that we've got a rough indication of what our scene is going to be looking like. Over here, it's also given us a, an indicator of a man at the start of the scene, and it's very hard to see, but at the end of the scene as well. 